Let's take a look at yet another way to export our model for other software. In this video, we are going to be using the FBX export format, which is a pretty common format that a most 3D animation software can open. It sort of packages all of the models together into one file and it's able to read in all sorts of different texture maps. So it will make it really easy to import an entire scene from one program into another. So let's uh, take a look of what we have here. In our sub tools, as you know, we have only one sub tool, which is this uh, horse here. Okay, so you can see uh, it's only one sub tool right now. So uh, if you have several other sub tools, so that means you will be exporting them uh, like you know differently, separately, so that they will be uh, you know uh, separated from each other. So their uh, texture maps and uh, normal map or any other map uh, doesn't overlap. Now one thing is that if I will go back here in my uh, texture map, okay, I don't have a texture map, so I can click on the new texture over here, and new texture I will create from probably paint. If I will click here, it will make a new texture from the poly paint. Then I can go to the normal map. I don't have a normal map, so what I can do, I can just create the normal map here. Okay, so it will ask me to go to the lower subdivision level. Okay, fine. I can go to the lower subdivision level. And then I can go to my uh, normal map here. Then I can create normal map. Okay, and you can see it is taking a little time. And here we have the normal map. You can see that. Okay, and after that, what I will do is that if I will go to my displacement map. I don't have a displacement map, so I will just create the displacement map. Don't press on create and export, otherwise it will export directly. So one thing I would like to keep in mind is that uh, I will create this, but first I have to make sure uh, I have 32 jib uh, like a uh, bit is on because this will create a 32 bit floating map. This is good for reading and different applications will give you a very nice uh, sort of a uh, output okay so i will just press create displacement map over here this will again take a little time okay and it's extracting right now so it is done now you can see it is ready okay so uh we have texture map we have displacement map we have normal map because if you're exporting FBX file, you should have your all the maps that you want to export because unlike multi map exporter, it will not automatically generate. So you have to go to each one of this, like texture map, okay, your displacement map, and your normal map. If you are if you want them to be exported, you have to generate them just the way I did it here. Okay. And once this is done, you have to make sure that you are on your oh, sorry geometry you are on your lowest subdivision level because this is the subdivision level that most of the animators usually want so make sure this is the one that you have it so i'm on my lower subdivision level this is uh which is uh subdivision level one okay now i will go to the plugin and inside the plugin i have fps export and import let me dock this one over here so we can check what do we have here so uh we have a couple of settings here we can export just the selected sub tool okay or you can select all visible just like we did in multi-map exporter so if you have multiple one so you can click on all and if you don't want uh, all of them if you want to export only selected one just you can click or uh, you can select the one that you want to export or only those that are visible so you can click on the visible so this is basically uh you can uh, like the common thing that we do so now mo for most of the part all these settings are just fine so i'll just click on the export button here and it will ask me so i will just uh, right here i will just go to it uh, and make a new ch uh, folder here 
okay and in this folder i will export the file i will call this point horse and save it and you can see that it is exporting right now okay so once it is done you can go and check it out where your file is so i will go back here file 2 and you can see i have my fpx i have my uh, displacement map okay i have my normal map but for the normal map it has exported tga file which will open in photoshop but i cannot open it here so you know it's uh, it's something that you it's, it's not of a big deal and most of the software can read tga file now uh, as you know the fps file is created which contains all of those uh, things that to be selected like our normal map of our uh, dm for displacement nm for normal map then texture map and our mesh over here so this is all packaged into one fpx file now when you load this in any other program like maya or cinema 4d or 3d studio max it will know that they are uh, separated objects if you have multiple sub tools right now i don't have multiple sub tools so I don't have issue, uh, I will not have that thing, but if you have multiple sub tools, so it will automatically count them uh, and they will know that they are separate. So you will not have overlapping of the UV map. So it won't have, uh, you know, uh, actually all mushed together in one 3D model. They will all be separated. So that's how you will get a very clean, nice mesh. And also automatically uh, they will be able to apply all these texture maps and displacement are normal on all those sub tools so as the uh, as long as they are found in the same folder as where you open up the fpx so out of all the different ways we have seen to export things out of zbrush each way has its own advantage and disadvantage the best one i think to use is goz as long as you are exporting it to the program that can actually export to with Gozi. If you are sending it to somebody else like your friend or your agency or you know some company, you might want to use FP, uh, FPX because it's a convenient way to package everything together. And if for some reason you are sending it to someone and they can't take an FPX file, then I would use the multiple uh, like multi map exporter. So between all these options, you should be able to find something that works. So I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon also so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate guys if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get all those uh, like you know new subscribers more subscribers and this will really motivate me to create more and more content for you all so guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson